Alright, so when you did this one, did you go ahead and you cross multiplied? Yeah. And so 10 parentheses x plus 2 equals x minus 1 times 3x minus 2. So you cross multiply to start with. Okay, then you distribute through. So 10x plus 20 equals 3x squared uh, minus 2x minus 3x plus 2 okay, by distributing. Okay. Combine terms. We've got an x squared term, so you move everything to one side of the equation. Absolutely everything to one side. I'm going to move everything to the right. Oh, so, so it equals 20? So it equals, so it equals 0. We want it to equal 0. Oh. We'll move the 20 as well. Okay. So minus the 10x and minus the 20. And so 0 equals 3x squared minus, uh, looks like 15x. Yeah, add all those together. Minus 18. Yep. Okay. Now, to make the factoring easier, because we're going to have to factor this. There's no way around it. Mm -hmm. To make the factoring easier, you, get, you can take a 3 out of that. So, and that'll just make it a lot easier to mess with. So, that'd be x squared minus 5x minus 6. You take a 3 out. Minus minus is minus plus. And you can either use 2 and 3 or 6 and 1. And to make 5, we're going to need 2 and 3 or 6 and 1. What do you think? 6 and 1, right. Ah, well, check your answer. Because... If you check your middle two, that's negative 6x, and then you check your outside two, that's 1x, so negative 5x is our check, and we're, we, we know we factored it right. And so our factored problem is 3x minus 6, x plus 1, and set... So we want to know when x is when this equation is zero. Well, it'd be when x minus six equals zero, or it'd be when x plus one equals zero. So it could either be at six, or it could be at negative one. If you solve each of those.